Welcome back. Jim Conroy's first bakery location was in Rathbone Village in Lincoln way back in 1957. Ten years later, in 1967, Jim moved his bakery to its current location near Union College on 48th Street. Our Lance Schwartz now is in with a continuation of a great love story. Hello, Lance. Hello, sir. When Jim Conroy opened up Conroy's bakery in the late 50s, there were eight family bakeries in Lincoln. Today, there is one. Jim Conroy discovered his love of baking early on in his life, and now, 90 years later, he just can't seem to give it up. I just like to make good products. I like to be a servant, I guess you'd call it. Jim Conroy has been serving Lincoln since 1957. They call it a labor of love. Jim is now 93 years of age. I've enjoyed cooking and baking ever since I was a little child. And his delightful wife of 65 years. No, I met her at church. <laughs> is also 93 uh, years old. We the church steps. Well, right now we're making flour shirts. Yeah, cake. We're making Even after flowers. nearly six I'm decades in the bakery business, Jim still enjoys coming into work six days a week. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. If it wasn't I didn't like it. <laughs> Grace still puts in five days a week. Oh, I love it. I, d I don't have any problem coming to work. It's very pretty cake. Jim considers himself both a baker well, and it's an a, artist. It's a form of art, and you, hate, you can express yourself with your hands and, and what you make, you know. He's the baker, so I better say it's very, very good. <laughs> we adopted the five of our children. And now three of those children operate the business. Oh, yeah, they all grew up in the bakery. Joe Conroy's parents amaze him on a daily basis. At 93 and have them still coming in and helping and working, and it's very unique to see this. We work as a team. They're fun to work for. They're uh, good Christian people. They're kind, compassionate, and they, they love what they do. And, that's, and you can see that. Finished product. And oh, by the way, they make some tasty treats that are loved by the masses in the capital city. These are all made fresh. There is a lot to like in this bakery. I like the um, macaroons. I, I like, well, I like them all. And so does Lincoln. <laughs> if it doesn't pass the taste, they don't sell it. I don't know how long we'll stay here, do this, because people keep coming in the door. <laughs> wanting this and wanting that and everything. So we just keep on baking and, it, and uh, sticking with it. Just as well, keep on sticking with it. Jim and Grace are usually up and at them, ready for work, and uh, Joe picks them up, ideally, at 9 a.m. sharp. If he's a minute late, he's bound to get a reminder phone call. Then they'll work until 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And what really gets me about this, Owen, is I've done a lot of stories about people that have worked into their 90s. And that's amazing in and of itself. But this dynamic duo, both 93 years old, still working every weekday, you won't find that every day. And, and that's that work ethic, no doubt about that. You know, that's instilled in them from an early age. But do they ever talk about retirement? Dare I say retirement? Nope. Their health is good. That means they just keep on going. That's all they know. I think I'm going to stop there and get a cupcake after work. You Thanks better. Steve. Thank you very much, Lance. We'll update your forecast in a moment. It's pretty.